Yo, yo, welcome, welcome, guys. Welcome back to another video. My name is Robert Tini the Source. I'm a music producer who also happens to like anime and games. And as you guys can see in the title, there's going to be more episodes for this reaction. However, I have good news and bad news. So let's get into that real quick. <laughs> Alright y'all, thank you for tuning in. Of course, I'm very excited to get back into the Hunter reactions and for today's video, as you guys notice, I'm going to do the kind of the four episode format-ish. However, I'm going to be doing something different. So just to start, I'm going to give you guys the bad news first. So the past couple of weeks, Hunter reactions have been doing very well, by the way, from my standard. I'm very new to this whole YouTube thing. So just to see you guys interacting with the Hunter content has been a blessing. So thank you for that. But um, the issue is that this has happened to me twice now. And of course, it was already warned to me, but I did get two of my videos blocked. The first video that got blocked, um, everything was fine. I was able to get it back up because all I had to do was trim out a certain part and I was able to put that video back up. So that's good. However, the second video, when it got blocked, they only looked at a certain part but for some strange reason. They wanted me to take out the entire video besides just my, I guess, uh, breakdown at the end of the episode and then my intro. So with that being said, I don't want to get too much into this, but I just feel like with these reactions, I still want to do them, but we got to do them differently. And we all know the situations when it comes to reaction videos. Um, that's why reacting and talking and making sure the content is transformative is very important, but that's for a whole nother uh, conversation. So it's pretty clear to me that Hunter, as Hunter Hunter, is one of those that's very tricky when it comes to reaction. So I wanted to do something a little bit different. And on top of that, I am a music producer and I feel like me being producer, I also wanted to show you guys that I love music and pay attention more to music in general. Obviously, not just with OSTs, but within the actual animes itself. So the good news is I'm still going to be doing the Hunter reactions, but we're going to do something just a little bit different. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take snippets of my favorite parts of my reaction to the episodes, right? So you're going to see a little bit even more shorter versions of the reactions, but we're going to do them more in bulk. So you'll see maybe four or five episodes in bulk. And then after that, at the end, of course, I'll do a quick kind of breakdown of what I saw. And this is where you guys can really explain to me if I miss something. And that's fine, because what I will do is I'll go back to the episodes and make sure I watch and truly understand what's going on. I know that you guys are very keen on me and just in general on people who watch Hunter x Hunter to make sure you pay attention to the details. This is something new for me well because I did not realize how detail oriented Hunter x Hunter is so really great that you guys have brought that up with me. So once I do that at the end of that I'm also going to pick one of my favorite scenes from those bulk of reactions. I'm going to break that down from a music perspective so it's going to be very very cool basically i'll just show you guys the scene over again and i'll talk about why i like the scene from music perspective we'll talk about the sounds we'll talk about the music and how it enhances the scene so it's going to be very very cool and i can't wait to get into that so obviously for this reaction we i watched episodes 33 to episodes 36 so with that being said at the end you guys are going to see a breakdown of the fight between Gon and Hisoka because that fight was incredible. Oh my god. I, I let me tell y'all something. Even my reaction to that, I was like, wow. So without further ado, let's just show you guys some of the reactions and then let's get into the analysis and Gon versus Hisoka, the musical slash sound analysis of that scene. Thank you guys for watching. Let's go. Oh yeah, the promise thread, right? That's that's um he made that promise that he was not going to train until two months. But obviously, he broke that promise. Or did he not break that promise? Oh, he lied? <laughs> he did keep his word. That is true. I like that little music in the background. 
I don't know what instruments those would be. It seems like, uh, hmm. I gotta really listen. All it is is just basically 16th notes playing over and over again. A very simple melody over the back. Uh, Counting notes? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we geek out about that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah. What I like about this is that, like, the way they describe the Sinen technique, it, it's very descriptive and it's very, like, straightforward. Like, they tell you how to use a technique and you just got to learn it. It's like this one technique, but then there's like the different principles that make up this one technique. It's a very cool concept, to be honest with you guys. And then the ominous music, once again, symbolizes to me that the um, this Nen technique is a very mysterious kind of power. If you really listen closely to the chants in the background, it's pretty cool. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Whoa. <laughs> Very interesting. Kill is like I might have to kill him. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. And once again, that scene was pretty cool with the ominous music. I I like the recurring theme of this ominous music in the background. I feel for Zushi, but I think he'll be he'll be fine. And I do think that Zushi is way stronger than what we're giving him credit for for some strange reason. Yeah, I have no idea how crazy he is. I feel like this assassin family is like a popular family too. So once they know who he is, they're going to be like, whoa. Hmm. So we're going to try to manipulate Kilua and then just try to get gun on his own anyway. Very interesting. Huh. Like that. The piano. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And there goes the <laughs> camera. Now, from my understanding, these auras, they're emitting the aura, but no one can't actually physically see them, right? It's just the, um, the art is just demonstrating the actual aura, right? Like, no one could see his eyes, like, actually glowing, like, with the white, right? Unless maybe the, if their eyes are glowing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, that's right. That's actually how it is. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my Wha god. Oh. Oh. What? Where did he come from? <laughs> Yo. Wow. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> that match is over already. <laughs> so, I like that they these characters have such basic, I want to say basics, but very straightforward. Oh. Oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> Where is this? <laughs> what? Wow! Yeah, kill. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> you, yo, Kilo was pissed off. <laughs> that stunt they pulled, Kilo was like, nah, not again. <laughs> he is really playing no games. Uh... <laughs> and what's interesting about this anime, too, compared to a lot of other ones, like, they really, like, it they really isolate a lot of different instruments. So like, for example, they'll have a scene, they'll have one instrument playing a melody or just one instrument just playing a little break and that's it. They won't have anything else. That's something that I noticed and that was a perfect example. Hmm. Oh, what is that? A new technique? You know what's interesting? I like this guitar theme a lot. It reminds me of Sonic. I don't know why. Like, I feel like I'm playing a Sonic the Hedgehog level. <laughs> Sonic's uh, music has a lot of uh, guitar and a lot of uh, sounds very similar to this. 
Oh, yeah. Just rock him, please. Mmm. Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, I thought he was going to punch him in the face. Wow. But he did break his prosthetic leg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Very nice. To me. <laughs> exactly. Yep. <laughs> oh, what? You wanna? You wanna be saved? Yes. I'm being shocked. Just, just touch me, please. <laughs> Is that the switch? <laughs> He'll turn the power to maximum. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Just surprised that Hisoka wants to fight him this soon. He, it's, which is interesting. I guess he knows his progress. Oh, the X, true X, pass. Uh, <laughs> there we go. We get better at this. Here. Yes, we are. <laughs> Enhancers. Okay, emitters. Transmuters can alter. Wow, this is a lot, guys. This is Conjurer. Yes. Manipulator. Oh my God. Fair enough, that makes sense. Act. Wow. <laughs> this is like a video game. Like, you know how, like, in some video games, like, they have, like, the different, they have the hexagon that shows you your strengths. Uh, and you could put points into it to increase your skills. Yep. In that category. Yep. Persona fans, y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. This is a lot, guys. This is truly a lot. Trans yeah. Transmuter. So okay. Enhance. Enhance the power. Okay. Yeah. We're getting good. Manipulator. That makes sense when you're using different things. Okay. Really? That's dope. So you can actually figure out what what your strengths are, in terms of the kind of techniques you can use for Nen. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Great. Great guess. <laughs> well, I don't know if that's a guess for you. I don't yeah. Remember. No, it was a guess. Let's see what he has. Hmm. I don't think it's enhancer. I think uh, enhancer. Manipulator. I think is going to be one of them. Oh, he is an enhancer. Oh. Oh. My God. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he's you... showing his balls to the world. <laughs> Gun is like, I'm calling you. <laughs> nah, I see. Okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, That's a little creepy. creepy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can understand why some of y'all in the comments have been saying that he's so creepy. That's, that's, that's real creepy there. Wow. Yo, look at him. Zushi was like, what? <laughs> I've been your student for years. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I, I'm, it's it's funny, but yo, like, I'm worried because what if he starts getting jealous? Yeah. Yo, this shit hits. Oh, excuse me. This hits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that sounded like a, a, a saxophone of some sort. That was a nice instrument choice for that kind of scene. Very nice. I like that melody. Um... It was very nice, very nice. Uh oh, is it is it game day? All right, ooh, gun those eyes. He means business. Da, 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 da. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, what? <laughs> That's so okay. <laughs> Okay. okay. Now man, I, that man got aroused. He's like, "Oh, little boy." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, the anime goes too far. For real. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh snap! Woi! Oh. Oh. Wow. Holy 
Yo, I did not expect this fight. Wow, this goes in. Wow. Full. Yo, wow. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All that for one point. Full, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yo. Oh, what? Wow! What? Where did Gun get all of this, <laughs> bro? I guess the train. Yo, but that's dope because they did train for oh. like three months. Oh, what are you about to do? Great way to introduce the um the ending theme song. Ah, uh, that's one thing I want to point out too. Um, the ending theme. It's a great introduction oh, into sorry. that. Oh, you can clap. Oh my God! What? What a great show. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that was that was pretty intense, y'all. That was Hudson fans, please put comments like, <laughs> "Yeah, we need to get the show back going." I know the the guy who's uh, what's his name? I forgot his name, but he's on a hiatus, whatever the case is. Oh, really? Yeah, he, oh. for years. <laughs> he's yeah. doing other stuff. I think Dungeon and Dungeon or Dungeons and Dragons. He's focused on that. Oh, but interesting. I could be wrong. You guys, let me know. You guys probably know way more. Yeah, interesting, y'all. Um, and I like the concept of the fact that you don't have to kill the person. It's yeah. just you just got to land hits. It's a good point system. Yeah. Tournaments are different all around. Yes, these definitely have some of the most unique tournaments I've ever seen. You know what it is, too? When I'm when I'm looking at this, it actually reminds me of the way they judge boxing. Boxing is kind of the same concept. Uh, I don't, I don't, for those of you guys who watch boxing, the judges kind of do the same thing, where it's like they they judge you based on the hits that you land, the kind of hits as well. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. I forgot about that. The whole reason about this. He said, ah, oh, very nice. Interesting. Fickle and dishonest. Interesting. Keep that in mind. Wow. This is so much information. You guys are going to rewatch this because I need to, I have to write notes. <laughs> you don't need to write notes. <laughs> I, I want to make sure I know. <laughs> the day you write notes about anime, oh. I'm going to be like, come on. <laughs> They're going to keep talking about this stuff. The reason why I'm saying we got to pay attention because... We have to look at the other characters. Kilua is a transmuter. And I feel like that's going to be very important when it comes to personality later on. I'm just, this is just a guess. Wow. What a power. So only Gun can see that and people who know Nen can see this. So everybody else is probably just like, what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's over. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> That's it. What I don't understand is why was that other considered a knockdown? I'm that's what I'm confused that's about. That was a bad call. That was a bad call. Are they doing that just like to make it simulate how it is in real life where sometimes they just give out bad calls cuz that would be kind of crazy. Unless maybe Hisoka has an insider. Nah, he doesn't need no insider. Yeah, he really doesn't. You need a sec <laughs> a secret. <laughs> I was gonna say, honestly, what you learn is that you need to actually train and like actually hone in on your skills. Oh, man, I, I kind of wish Zushi joined them. He would have been a nice addition to their little, I guess, for, uh, group. Boy, boy group. <laughs> boy band. Hey, all right, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, those reactions. I know it was a much condensed version, but uh, before we continue on, if you guys are looking for just the actual reaction itself, you guys can head on over to the Patreon as well, uh, pa Patreon page. Sorry for stumbling. Um, and there you're going to actually be able to actually get opportunity to actually watch the reaction if you want to see more of the reaction and um it's very cool obviously i'm a music producer so i will also be putting this video early on patreon as well so if you want to just get access to this breakdown video early 
Now, moving forward, uh, before we get into the scene breakdown, uh, I wanted to also kind of expand a little bit more specifically on just the overall concept of Nen and just everything that's been going on in general. The fact that we found out that they were still doing the hunter exam and learning Nen was the key to actually pass. That was very, very smart. That was a very cool little touch to that because I know we, we talked about that before where earlier way back when <laughs> like 10 episodes back or so uh they were saying the hunter exam wasn't exactly over so learning then was the way to learn or to pass right and um also geo right that was super important for kilowa gone and zushi to be able to know and use geo so they can actually see the the nen a little bit better right because they couldn't see what was going on with hisoka as soon as they got the geo or as soon as they were able to use geo they were able to see the different strands that hisoka was using in his battle so i thought that was really really cool and just overall the nen technique i mean it's incredible i literally have notes guys here that's how crazy it is i'm not even joking <laughs> look at this wild right I'm going to be looking at these notes because there's just so much to talk about. For example, all of the different principles, right, and the different categories of net. We have enhancer, emitter, transmuter, the conjurer, manipulator, and specialist, y'all. That in itself is a lot just to remember. So I have those written down. So every time someone's using a Nen technique, we can really figure out what kind of category that they're going to be using. And I love the fact that we got an opportunity to also see, you know, the, the different categories in which Gun, Kilo, and Zushi are using. We found out that Gun is an enhancer. We found out that Zushi is a manipulator. And then we found out that Kilua is a transmuter. So I thought that was really uh cool man just so much with this technique you really have to take some time and just either rewatch an episode just to get an understanding of this it's great actually i can understand why people say this is one of the most complicated power systems but once again i wouldn't say complicated but one of the best power systems once again obviously i feel like i'm early so i'm going to assume there's going to be a lot more to this nen technique um as things are going as we're still early in the series so that's very very cool and of course the highlight of everything was the gone versus hisoka fight that fight was incredible man just everything about it you really saw gone's progress it was absolutely incredible even his progress from fighting Guido before he even fought Hisoka. That was pretty cool, man. Just to see the growth of Gon being able to use Nen and finally able to land that hit on Hisoka was absolutely amazing. And Hisoka finally giving him respect, although Gon is not there yet, as he still has a lot to learn, which makes a lot of sense. So that's pretty much where we left off. That's just a general breakdown of what I saw. I know... You know, there's a lot more with some of the other battles, of course. They were highlighted in the reactions, but if you guys just want to check out the reactions, of course, like I said, you guys can go to the Patreon so you can actually see those reactions. But let's move forward now. Let's get into the Gon versus Hisoka fight. And I want to rewatch that scene and talk a little bit about why I like that scene so much because the sounds and the music was like, whoa, it was pretty cool. So. Let's All do that. All right, y'all. Really excited, man. I, this scene was amazing. Um, So we're going to get into this scene real quick. And one of the first things that I really noticed about this was obviously the traditional kind of orchestral vibey music. The battle was kind of getting ready to go. It was pretty cool, right? And then watch this. Now, I don't have the volume too high, but hopefully you guys can hear just enough if you can't. Or if you want to go back to the scene, always rewatch it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Music cuts. And then all you hear is this weird, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a sound effect or if it's a drum just going really fast. Wow. And then you hear, and then what's cool, I'm going to pause this because what's so cool about this is that you hear like the, um, the violins, they, uh, I forgot the, the technique that they use, but it, the violins have this cool technique where they can basically scratch the strings and you hear that in the background while this little weird really 
ominous kind of sound effect is going on and of course the sound effects of the punches that are going on it just it makes the scene so intense it's cra it's pretty crazy everything matches clearly so you can hear those those scratching sounds a little bit and every little move that happens you hear it clearly but that weird sound effect that ominous sound effect that's what made this scene that's sick <laughs> Oh man, as you can see, I'm getting excited because this was just awesome to watch. And you can see here, it just keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps going. It doesn't really, really stop. Oh man. <laughs> Look at that. And Gun really tried to fight with this, by the way. I know I'm... It's crazy. But every move, every move, every move, you just listen to the way the sounds are flowing with the characters. And then it just stops. Just like that. I thought that was so cool because it just showed you that, that intense moment. Now, what I really liked about that was the fact that I've explained this in one of my reactions where a lot of the other fights, they, they, they were fights, but they weren't as intense. I mean, Hisoka versus Castro was... Was definitely getting to that intense level but it wasn't intense like this but part of the reason why is because of that ominous music or even the ominous sounds right that's what makes scenes music so important in scenes it's when you listen to the music it enhances the scene i guarantee you if they chose a different type of sound or a different kind of music it would not have the same impact and that's what made this so cool and that's why i was like whoa when I start watching it, because obviously the fight and the animation was incredible, but those sounds and the music was so, so cool. Like you guys really should go back and rewatch the scene and pay attention to that, because th those cues of when the music comes in and comes out and comes in, it's really incredible, and it completely changes a mood for an entire scene. So that's pretty much just a quick uh, breakdown of just this Gon versus Hisoka. Obviously, it's just the beginning of the fight. There is another part to it, but I just wanted to get this specific part because I thought that was really, really um, an eye catcher, eye opener, and ear opener as well. <laughs> All right, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little different, and uh, like I said, I you know with everything that's going on with uh, just making sure that uh, with the content. And using other people's content you just want to be a little careful and um we we know it seems like there's definitely some animes are a little tougher than others to do and hunter's definitely one of those i could continue doing the normal format but you know i, I don't want to you know go into a situation where I post a video and all of a sudden it gets blocked because that's a lot of time wasted of hard work putting these videos together especially for youtube because youtube edits once again are challenging because you have to pick what you want to show and what you don't want to show and you got to cut out certain parts it's a lot it's not as easy as people may think it is and um that's part of the reason so i just wanted to um i just wanted to point that out so with that being said y'all um all the links are in the description um i'm very excited i'm gonna have this the sound effects series i know it's been a delay on that uh that hopefully will be dropping real soon as well very excited um as we're going to be taking different sounds from freesound.org and different sounds from different animes and i'm going to show you guys how i would put a beat together using those different sounds so that's going to be very very cool as well animes and video games and um of course if you're looking for beats or if you know anybody who needs beats for their content, you can also send them to www.imthesource.com because I actually lease out beats for anybody to use, whether you're a rapper, artist, musician, content creator, it does not matter. And last but not least, if you're here on YouTube, of course. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to see any more videos drop my be dropped by me every week if you like the content. So definitely be on the lookout for more videos. And if you are interested in wanting to see some of the reactions as well as get early access to all of my content, then head on over to Patreon so y'all can go check that out because not only do you get early access to content, you're going to get opportunity to actually see my reactions and 
Of course, you'll get exclusive access to some of the new beats that I will be dropping before I actually put them out. So definitely go uh, check that out if you are very interested. So I'm going to be out. So of course, don't let anybody ever tell you who you can or cannot be. And until the next video, my name is Ron Bertini, the source, and I am out.